Hi there! In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up user and user group based firewall policy for different types of users, including local users and remote users. FortiGate authentication controls system access by user group. By assigning individual users to the appropriate user groups, you can control each user's access to network resources. The members of user groups are user accounts, of which there are several types. Local users and peer users are defined on the FortiGate unit. User accounts can also be defined on remote authentication servers. And now, without further ado, let's get straight to the demo. To create a new user, go to User and Authentication, select User Definition, and click Create New. What you can see here is a list of user identities. An identity can be a local user account, or username and password stored on the FortiGate unit, a remote user account, password stored on the Radius, LDAP, or the CAX Plus server, a user group defined on the FSSO server. For the first showcase of this video, we select a local user in the user type section. Next, type in your username and password. Please note, username and password must match a user account stored in FortiOS. Authentication is done by FortiOS security policy. Moving on to the contact info section. Here you can enable to factor authentication and set the user's email address if needed. In extra info section, you can verify that user account status is enabled. And if you already have a specific user group created, you can add the new user to that group right away. As you can see, now your FortiGate lists the new user. Moving on to the next step, which is create a new user group. To create a new user group, go to user and authentication one more time and select user groups. Click on create new, give a new group a name, and don't forget to add your new user to the members list. Like so. The FortiGate now lists the new user group. The last steps left is to create a new firewall policy. Security policies and some types of VPN configurations allow access to specified user groups only. This restricted access enforces role-based access control to your organization's network and its resources. Users must be in a group, and that group must be part of the security policy. To create a new internet policy, go to Policy and Objects, select Firewall Policy, and click on Create New. Please note, if you wish, you can as well add a new user to already existing policy. Give your new policy a name, and set ingoing and outgoing interfaces. For source, set address to all, and user to the new local user group we created in the previous step. Destination and service can be set to all. Under security profiles, enable antivirus and web filter. Set both to use the default profile. SSL inspection is enabled by default. Let's set it to the deep inspection profile. Now the setup is done, so let's go ahead and test the feature. In most cases, the FortiGate unit authenticates users by requesting their name and password. It then checks local user accounts first. If a match is not found, the FortiGate unit checks the Radius, LDAP, or the CAX Plus servers that belong to the user group. Authentication succeeds when a matching username and password are found. If the user belongs to multiple groups on the server, those groups will be matched as well. So let us try to reach out Fortinet homepage. As you can see, there are two browser tabs. One is for the website you'd like to visit, and the second one is your authentication window. Here we enter the username and password we just specified earlier. And here's our Fortinet homepage, fully accessible after authentication is successfully completed. Next, let's go back to our FortiGate and move to the second showcase, which revolves around remote user servers such as LDAP server and Radius server. To configure a remote user firewall policy, we need to create a user group first and add a remote server to it. We will create two user groups for each remote server. One is for staff members, which will have some access restrictions, and the other one for managers, which will have no restrictions. To create new user group and add a remote server to it, go to User and Authentication and open User Groups. Click Create New and enter a name for the group in the Name field. First, we will create two LDAP server groups. Set the type to Firewall and add the LDAP server in the Remote Groups section. Once we're done with LDAP server user groups, 
we move to creating Radius server user groups, which is almost identical, except you get Radius server instead of LDAP server in the remote groups section. After we finish with the user groups, all we have left to do is to create a new firewall policy for each user group and add the groups we created in the previous step to the new policy. To add the remote user groups directly to a firewall policy, go to Policy and Objects and open Firewall Policy. Policy 1 will regulate Manager Group access, which should have no restrictions. That's why we don't add any web filter or application control to it. Policy 2, however, will take care of the staff group members, which access permissions are going to be limited. For that reason, we specify service as HTTP and HTTPS only, and add particular web filter as well as application control profiles. After we have all four policies in place up and running, we can move to the demo part. Let's go ahead and visit Fortinet homepage first. We authenticate using LDAP Manager Group credentials. And here's the Fortinet's website. Let's now go to the CNN page. No access restrictions as well. Last, let's try to open some social media web page, for example, Facebook. And again, no access issue. Now let's re authenticate with the LDAP staff group access. As we can see for both CNN and Fortinet websites, home page is accessible. However, if we go ahead and try to open Facebook page one more time, We'll see that this time, access is denied due to the firewall policy settings. For the Radius remote server, it is exactly the same case. When we authenticate with the manager's group access, we can reach any particular source, like Facebook for instance, with no issues at all. Once we re-authenticate, however, we see the familiar application blocked message when trying to reach out social media web page. This concludes our setup user and user group based firewall policy feature showcase. Thank you for tuning in. If you wish to see more technical videos, please visit video.fortnet.com.